Hey, what up, guys? It's Silver's Beast, and I'm back here to bring you another video today. In this video, I'm deciding to try something different. I'm gonna do an app review of Mini Gore 2, and um, yeah, I just got this on my iPad. I've been playing it on my phone for a long time. Um, uh, it's really, it's it surprisingly runs surprisingly well on the iPhone with the amount of enemies. It runs a lot of enemies at a time, and all the blood graphics and everything. It's very surprising that it runs so well on the iPhone 4. But this is iPad gameplay because. Um, iPhone 4 display recorder is not a good combination, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I have it, haven't really gotten anywhere in the iPad version, but I have played a ton on the iPad on the iPhone version, so I thought I'd do a review. Anyway, uh, this game, from a technical standpoint, is really, really good. I mean, it works, like I said, it works well on the iPhone 4, it works well on all devices that it's compatible on, which a lot of games can't say. I mean, even Infinity Blade 2 had to um, dumb it down for... Um, for uh, some of the devices, and it still lags a little bit on those devices. So, most games can't say that they run well on all of the devices that they're compatible with, and uh, that's a big thing for this game. Uh, and yes, I am using the auto aim in this this uh, gameplay. Don't kill me. Um, but um, yeah, so from a technical standpoint, it's very very good. Uh, the graphics look perfect. I mean, it's kind of a cartoon kind of thing, and I really like the way that looks. The zombies look great. I mean, everything, graphics are just top-notch for uh, what it is. And, um, depth. Uh, it has a lot of depth. Um, there's tons of guns. You can upgrade all your characters. There's tons of characters. There's a lot of funny dialogue, and, um, I really like how, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's not, like, super, super deep, like Infinity Blade would be, but, I mean, it is deep for, um, uh, the for the game that it is. I mean, it's only three bucks. It's universal, so um, definitely a lot of depth for the uh, for what you pay for, and I really like it. Um, so yeah, lots of depth, lots of guns, lots of upgrades for the guns, um, different things you can unlock different different uh, places. There's a little mini backstory, although it's very, 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 very. I cannot emphasize how little the backstory is actually involved. Um, mostly just tearing uh, zombies up and uh, other enemies like giant cats at one point, uh, bunnies. Um, <laughs> I think you'll see the giant cat in this video, um, but I'm just playing the first level because like I said I don't have a lot of gameplay. And see, look at all those zombies on the screen, all the zombies in the game. It's really incredible how uh, technically advanced uh, this game is. Just how many enemies and everything. And um, so the, yeah, there's dual, there's akimbo, uh, ca counterparts to every weapon, and the the developer support for this game has been very good as well. Uh, they've updated it three times with lots of new content. Um, see, look at all those zombies. Um, there's a bunny. <laughs> but yeah, the developer content has been um, very, uh, very, very good. All the levels are very varied. Different enemies, different bosses in each level. And here I am just plowing through some zombies with a chainsaw. <laughs> but um, yeah, and uh, there's a couple in-app purchases, but they're very avoidable. I mean, it's not like it's not like a freemium game. Look at all those guns. Um, it's not like a freemium game where you have timers or something, or it's really hard to advance without buying in-app purchases. They're very avoidable, and um, yeah. And there's a whole there's a whole level system to unlock different guns and people and stuff like that. I stuck with the main character just because I like his dialogue, and I was like, why not stick with him? Um, you, there's a ton of characters though. Um, you'll see them when I go to the menu. But yeah, and from a depth standpoint, it's very good for what you're paying for. Very, very good. And um, yeah, so for graphics and technical standpoint, I'm going to give it a five out of five. I mean, for the graphics, I mean they're not. I mean, for the graphics, for the cartoon they look they're going for, very, very good. Um, and of course, technical, technical stuff is very, very good as well. Uh, from a depth standpoint, I'm going to give it a four point five out of five. I mean, it's not like super deep for, but. But for what for the, for, for the kind of game it is, a twin stick shooter, the depth is very very good. Um, now let's go to the most important part, which would be gameplay. And I just completed a bunch of uh, little objectives there. It does have an objective system that contributes to the leveling system, and um, yeah, uh, gameplay is very very fun. You start off with a little axe, and um, but you won't be using the axe that much because um, it's very weak for one, and um, you're going to be getting these uh, uh, different weapons. Uh, you can get an, uh, a hammer, a bigger axe, a sword, a saber, uh, different guns, machine gun, 
uh, this big LMG, a shotgun, double machine guns. There's pretty much a dual counterpart to every weapon. And you're just going to be picking up weapons. So you're not going to be using the axe a lot. And if you do have the axe, you're going to want to search for another weapon unless there's just a couple zombies. Um, the health system, the way it works is um, you have three hearts, as you can see up at the top left. And the three hearts, um, like if you get hit by a zombie, it'll start eating up the heart. But the, well, the heart individually will recharge unless they take up a whole heart then that heart won't recharge until you pick up a health pack which recharges one heart um, so it does have some form of health recovery but not like full health recovery if you, if you know what I mean um, also if you get enough, enough coins you can buy a hardcore mode which gives you double XP but also there's no health gener regeneration whatsoever so that's pretty cool I've played that on my phone a couple times just to level up more um, I'm about level 46 on my phone so yeah I've played this a lot on my phone just not on my iPad so that's why I don't have any advanced gameplay for you guys um, but uh, yeah so that's how the health system works and the gun system works there's also these clovers on the ground and there's one of the bosses these clovers on the ground and if you get three clovers you turn into this giant beast which you can also upgrade the beast um, how long the beast lasts and once you get three clovers you can pick up the beast and uh, just wreak havoc but it only lasts for a little bit so it's not overpowered or anything and here's one of the other melee weapons and I'm just checking out the objectives and the objectives get you money I'm just trying to get more money. So yeah, the gameplay is excellent. Um, you move around with a little stick, and uh, you can either choose auto aim, which I am doing in this uh, video, because I'm lazy, <laughs> or you can do the uh, actual other stick, where you actually aim for yourself, which is a little tougher, but uh, it is very fun. Um, and um, so yeah, gameplay is top notch. Um, yeah, so I really like the gameplay, and I think I'm about to go into the store. Yeah, and see, I'm about to buy this shotgun, which is, I don't really buy it, but it's free. Um, you get, you'll get, you see more weapons become available in the store uh, as you progress, and then you can buy Jerry Gore, who is his grandfather, or his father, I think. And there's different, uh, different levels and uh, everything. So, yeah, like I said, very deep uh, for an iOS game. Um... So yeah, um, so yeah, technical stuff is five out of five. Uh, depth is going to be four out of five. Um, actually, instead of four point five, uh, gameplay I'm going to give it a four point five out of five. Um, it is, it's kind of hard to explain. Like it's easy at beginning because obviously it's the beginning. It does get harder later on, but it doesn't get that much harder. I mean. It can get hard in some parts, but it's kind of like a roller coaster. Like sometimes it'll be really easy, then it'll be really tough, and it's kind of it's kind of a weird difficulty curve. So gameplay uh, is excellent in pretty much every area, except that it has a weird kind of difficulty curve. So that's going to give me a four out of five out of five. Um, yeah. So everything else, like the money system's fine. I mean, it doesn't like give you money too slowly that you'll have to buy in-app purchases. I think there's an app purchase to double money, um, but that's that's completely avoidable, like I said. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this game. It's one of the best games in the App Store. It took the developers forever to make, but it was definitely worth the wait. I definitely recommend it. Universal app, I think it's about three bucks in the App Store. It might have been moved up to four, but it's worth it either way. I highly recommend you buy this game. And um, final score, I'm gonna have to give it a 4.5 out of five stars. Um, so yeah, uh, that's Mini Gore 2. For the game that it is, it does it exceeds uh, very well. And um, so yeah, my score for Mini Gore 2 is going to be a 4.5 out of 5. And um, so yeah, let me know if you liked this uh, variation on what I normally do. I just thought I'd do something different. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. But uh, anyway, uh, that's it for this video. I'm just tearing people apart with this shotgun. Uh, that's it for this video, guys. I'm Silver's Beast, and I'm out. Catch you in the next one.